Hello and welcome back to Elm Creek and the Back to Basics series. You will notice that we are now in April. That's because I've just skipped through the months until the grass has been fully grown. Here it is. This is grass. But you knew that. So once again, I'm going to get it all cut and baled. And basically just wrapped and ready to ferment. Uh, this will have to move out of the way. That'll do. <clears throat> so we need to get into this and find our mowers. They're probably where I usually put them. Over here somewhere. I know you've seen a lot of me doing grass work. Uh, and a lot of silage being created. That is a good way to make money in the game. And it has enabled us to buy some productions and get going there. So, um, you can't really uh, knock it, but I do understand how it's watching the same thing every time and it can be a little bit boring. So, on that note, I'm going to get it all done. as quickly as possible and then we will move on to something a little more interesting Right, well, there we go now. That's all done and dusted. I want to move on to a harvest. Because I'm really, really keen to get that wheat into the... Uh, into the factory, producing flour, and then the flour over to the bakery to produce bread. We made quite a bit of money from it last time. I want to make even more from it this time. We have a lot more fields of wheat, and I believe the wheat yields better than barley. So, let's have a quick look. Uh, my wheat will be ready. I haven't got any barley, have I? No, wheat, 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 and canola. So the wheat will be ready in July, around the same time as the canola. I will see you in July. Well, welcome back to July, and look, all of our fields are ready. Even the grass fields again have just become ready. So, we're gonna be doing the three wheat fields to start with. The canola fields can wait till next time. But yeah, we need to get this wheat in and we need to get it taken up to the flour mill to start production. So, 
So, let's break the harvester out again for the first time since last year. And I think this time we will collect the straw. I don't see why not. It could be extra income. It doesn't give us any any um, what's the word I'm looking for? Advantage. That was an easy word. I should have been able to think of that. Uh, it doesn't give us any advantage whatsoever to chop the straw and not use it. So yes, we will be collecting the straw up this time to make our life a lot easier I think it would be good to get a bale collector before we start collecting up all these bales that we're about to generate now looking at the rate at which the um, the wheat is climbing in the harvester I'm going to say that I was probably wrong and barley yields better than wheat does which is a shame because I made the decision to put wheat in based on the fact that I thought it yielded better well never mind wheat is what we've got now like I said the uh, the production might treat it differently anyway so wheat is 150 to 120 and barley is 150 to 113, so that's probably the compensation for the yield. Not certain, obviously, but it could be. So maybe we should go for barley in all the fields next time. What are the other two options? Oats, 150 to 188. Ooh, oats might be a good, good idea. Sorghum. Hmm maybe oats but they can only be planted in the spring not in the winter it gives us a lot more work to do next year but a lot less to do this year maybe we should go for a mixture so maybe some fields we should put barley and some we should put oats some we should put sorghum hmm yeah it's a thinker Anyway, I'm going to get on with this harvest. Three fields of wheat need to be done. I'm doing two at the minute, so I'll leave one after that. So, yeah. You should. Should get a fairly decent amount. Probably no more than a trailer full. But fairly decent all the same. Right, that's given us a good chunk of grain already we're looking really good what I'm gonna do is to take the harvester over to that field over there put it on a worker and then we can crack on with getting we're well, starting to get this straw bailed up I think that would be a good idea uh, I picked the wrong way to come there didn't I there we go move the header trailer out the way gently Right, so uh, I think what I'm going to do is to set it going across the field. Look at all that canola we've got. Unfortunately, that will be next time we start doing that. Okay, so if I set the work going off here, hopefully 
they should do all right. Although, uh, it looked like it was going off at a funny angle, but now it's not. Right, let's move the trailer out of the way then. We obviously will need to empty the harvester, but I think we'll have time to bale this first. We'll leave the trailer there, grab the baler, and then we'll crack on with chucking bales out the back. Let me just check the sail before we go anywhere. Nope, there is nothing in there that we want. Which is unfortunate. But that's the way that it is. Definitely, definitely love to get a bale collector soon. It may be that we can't get it for this time. In fact, I can't even see how we would get it for this time because... Uh, yeah, we're uh, a little bit desperate for money to be able to afford that sort of thing and there's nothing we can do to sell anything before it's time to uh, time to collect the bales up I probably should get a square baler for these this sort of thing for the straw that might be good Keep I keep g going off on tangents about buying things and I can't afford it <laughs> but, but I really would like a square baler there's the cheapest square baler the class also requires 250 horsepower which we don't have no we don't have get that then let's just uh, get these made up in round style Well, that's upsetting. 337 litres does not fit in the trailer. Well, I say it's upsetting. It does mean that we have a, a full trailer, which is awesome. Uh, but 337 litres of wheat is still in the harvest. Well, I'll get it put into the silo. Um, and the next time we do wheat, it can be added to that to head up there. Because it isn't worth the fuel just to take 337 litres up there. So we'll pop that in the silo. There we go. Get this thing folded up. back it into the garage. There we go. That is mostly out of the way. Uh, as for this, I'm going to leave that while we take the grain. 22,500 litres of it up to the flour mill. Get it producing flour. and then we'll get it uh, immediately distributing to the bakery so that when we come to it in December or January time when the bread is ready to be sold we'll just have it <laughs> we'll have the bread ready 
which is a bit amazing. Right, now where did I leave that flour mill? Aha, here it is. We hadn't lost it after all. It was where I left it. It's convenient and expected. Right, so 22,500 litres going in. We want to get into this menu here and we want to set flour to distributing. And if we activate the wheat flour, then it'll straight away start working away and distributing the flour over to the bakery, which is here. And we can activate bread for when the flour starts coming in. Right, let's get back to the farm and finish the baling. mostly all picked up. I will pick up a bit over here, but I'm not going to make it to a full bale. Definitely not. So it means that, well, either we'll get a straw bale out when we start doing the grass, or it'll convert it into the grass, and we'll get an extra silage bale, which would be nice. I did always think about whether you had straw and grass next to each other. If you fill up 50% with straw and then go for grass, it'll convert it to grass, and then you can wrap it. So straw being a lot cheaper than grass that seems like a good way to make the silage bales well in the game anyway obviously in real life that doesn't work but yes next time we will be shifting all the bales that we've just produced uh, and cutting the grass again and i realized that we didn't fertilize between cutting last time and cutting this time it'd be interesting to see what effect that has on the amount of bales that we get out of it but um i'm not too fussed we're still going to get plenty of bales so then i'm going to leave it there for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye for now